What is it and where is it? Well, this place? Yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, so this is 303 Projects. Um, it is a not-for-profit uh, project space in Lowestoft um, that I set up. Uh, it's open two years. I invite artists to show, um, and I have, have like six or seven uh, programmed exhibitions a year, and then now I'm going to do some pop-ups for the community. So, for example, school shows, or let's say in March next year, I've got the second-year interim show of a degree course that's just opened up at the college up the road. Uh, obviously when I set up, uh, I wasn't too familiar with people around here exactly. So I, it was like my little black book um, of London centric artists and a few European contacts. Um, so I got them to have a big show. And from that show of like 43 artists, and that was exciting to just say, cause everybody kept saying yes. And I had to stop asking after that. But, but, yeah, the, but the idea with that was to just give a flavor of what I could bring to Lowestoft and say lowest off, uh, it needs to see this artwork. If people, are, if people can't travel around the, around the country, and especially if they can't travel to London to see the ship bigger shows, uh, then I'm, I, I'm a platform for bringing those artists here. So, yeah, I was, I was, the, the MO wasn't about going, uh, oh, I'm, a, I'm now in the East Coast, I'm now gonna show East Coast artists. It was, it was more like, I'm just gonna show good art that I know, and then hopefully that would, uh, bring, draw people towards the space and then I'd meet artists of the re region of which I have now so there's a definite audience who are pleased that I'm here and so they support that going on. Yeah, so openings are always busy. It's, it's, when, there, when there's not openings, it's just me twiddling my thumbs. Yeah. It's a little bit lonely sometimes. It's quite funny, isn't it? Because as an educator, my ro my, the, part of the reason why I open up the space was because I'd been running kind of like public facing projects uh, in Hackney in Tottenham where I was teaching. And then when I moved up here, um, it was a no brainer to open a space with that in mind. So the idea was it was, it was a kind of like a, a double thing where I'd be showing artists because I had the opportunity to show artists, but not denying the fact that a lot of what influences me with my three different hats, you know, educator, artist and gallerist, was that they're all kind of like, they all overlap. So I do have school shows and I do try and do workshops and connect with the students because effectively part of understanding culture and part of it, it growing in a particular area is if the, the kids know and the younger students and then the, you know, the adult students in uh, at college, if they are more versed and have a better visual vocabulary and understanding and context, then it's more interesting as a place. They come here uh, but, and, but also what's exciting about that is that they demand of this space that they live at, uh, in the community and the town or whatever, they, they demand similar things or might be encouraged to go and do similar things. So it's not just me going, hi, everybody come to me. It's actually, you've seen what I can do. Have you thought about having a young project space, as it were? Things overlap and thoughts overlap, et cetera, et cetera, and ideas overlap. But um, it's in tandem, it's in harmony with. Um. You're an artist, and is finally recognition. I know. Right? <laughs> now you can retire. Now that I've recognised it. Um, 